Have you ever wondered what your 9mm jacket hollow points would actually do in a real uh, critical dynamic incident if you got into one? Well, you know, FBI standards are based on shooting pork, and that's what we're going to do today. Stay tuned. Ouch. You didn't really think I was going to shoot the pigs, did you? We are saving bacon today. So if you didn't know it, pig tissue most closely resembles human tissue for ballistic testing. And that's what this clear gel actually uh, mimics uh, is swine tissue and human tissue uh, so that you can get accurate testing results when shooting into this clear ballistic gelatin. We are shooting bacon today though. It's uh, synthetic bacon and it is the FBI standard. Uh, we'll get into all that a little bit later. But clear ballistics, see what you shoot, it's pretty cool. I took it out to the range. It does allow you to see exactly what you shoot, and so it gives you that uh, little bit higher confidence of, hey, how's my bullet going to actually re react in an incident? Uh, and that's what we're going to talk about today is three 9mm hollow points, or self-defense carry ammo, that's affordable and available in some of the big box stores out there. And we've got Hornady, Winchester, and Federal that we're going to look at, and we're going to see how they perform, uh, and then I'm going to give you my opinion on them. And by the way, if you shoot one of these three, let me know in the comments uh, which one of these that you actually use for self-defense. If you use a different hollow point, uh, let me know in the comments which hollow point you use. All right, so let's jump right into this three 9mm nasty hollow points that will get the job done in a critical dynamic incident. Hopefully you never have to use them, but if you do, these three are going to get it done. And all three of these will be faster than dialing 911. By the way, if you want to support this channel, one of the best ways to do that is grab one of these cool t-shirts. You can find it right there uh, in that card right up above, or you can find it in the link in the description below. And for today's video and the shooting of the three self-defense rounds, I used the Glock 19X uh, outfitted in that finely crafted piece of apparatus right there on the wall. Oh, notice that sign next to it. At any rate, let's continue. All right, so a little bit of background of how I chose these three. I actually shoot all of these. I was able to find these uh, in a local big box store, uh, which is actually an Academy Sports. They had all three of these available. And all of these currently at the shooting of this video hover around $25 for 20 rounds. And I know you say, well, that's not affordable compared to years ago, but uh, by today's standards, those are affordable rounds that you can find readily available uh, in most of the big box stores around the country. Okay, so I'm discussing these in no particular order. Uh, I will tell you my thoughts on the choice of them. They were just shot in the order uh, that they appear right up here, Hornady, then Winchester, then Federal Premium. And so first up is the Hornady Black XTP 124 grain jacketed hollow point. Hornady says it was designed for hunting, self-defense, and law enforcement applications. And according to the FBI standards, uh, that means that this particular bullet is gonna be able to shoot through a barrier or a thicker clothing uh, glass, things like that, and also penetrate enough to meet the FBI standards. If you don't know about the FBI standards, uh, there was a shootout uh, years ago in Miami. You can look that up at how they came about the FBI standards, but essentially you want 12 inches of penetration into ballistic gelatin like this, and you don't want over 18 inches of penetration. This block is only 16 inches long. We did have some over penetration, uh, but I believe those rounds would have stopped short within uh, 18 inches. And so you don't want to over penetrate and you don't want to go too short. And all of these rounds, I believe, fall within those particular parameters. If you want to know more about clear ballistics, I put a link in the description below to their website. You can read all about uh, their product there. It is a synthetic ballistic gelatin. Uh, it is not like the gelatin that you mix, like Jello mix. It's not temperature sensitive or anything like that. It is temperature stable, so it's really cool. You can shoot in hot weather, cold weather. You can actually uh, pick the bullets out of this stuff and remelt it down and then remold it uh, back into its original shape or any other shapes. You can use it again and again and again. So it's pretty cool uh, for your own range or your own self-testing. Again, if you want to know more about that, there is a link down in the description below. So specifically, this XTP was designed as an extreme terminal performance bullet. It was designed to expand at uh, varying velocities in all the different handgun calibers. And so they say it delivers deeper penetration and is terminally effective. We know what that means. So you can see right here on the ballistic gelatin, uh, the Hornady is, uh, I rotated the block. The Hornady is the first one here uh, that I did shoot and it penetrated 
uh, exactly 12 and a half inches into that block. And so that uh, meets the minimal standards. I had a little bit of fragmentation, uh, but not much out the side. And I will show you the uh, slow-mo video right now. All right, nine millimeter self-defense round test. And this is Hornady Black. So as you can see, the Hornady will get the job done as far as penetration goes and as expansion goes, it did expand in this block, uh, man, almost twice its size, one and a half times its size at least. And so uh, Hornady Black, can't go wrong. That's the XTP by Hornady in the 124 grain 9 millimeter Luger. All right, next up on the block was the Winchester Defender in the 147 grain uh, 9 millimeter, and it is a bonded jacketed hollow point. Winchester says this is his most innovative bullet. I don't know what that says, but it's Winchester's most innovative bullet. And it is also designed around the FBI standards protocol and designed to uh, maximize terminal performance. And again, we know what that means. And so Winchester, particularly markets for self-defense, they don't mention anything about law enforcement or hunting applications for this round. They say this is specifically designed uh, to maximize self-defense situations as far as stopping power, penetration and expansion go uh, to stop the threat. Winchester also says that they weld that jacket to the lead uh, for better penetration. They say that it expands one and a half times and this center one here is Winchester and I can't see the expansion because it passed completely through the block. So it might have over penetrated, but I don't know. I thought uh, honestly when I did this test that all of these engineered for self-defense would fall within this uh, standardized block of 16 inches, uh, but I was wrong. That Winchester Defender, 147 grains, I should have known better. Uh, it penetrated all the way through. I couldn't find it uh, on the back side of the table. So uh, it is what it is. It did cause significant damage uh, going through there. I'll show you the slow-mo video right now. Nine millimeter self-defense rounds. Winchester. Woo. There you go. This Winchester Defender is also uh, pre-cut. They call it pre-programmed. I don't know how you program a bullet. I think you program um, robots and things like that. But anyway, this has six notches in it uh, that allow this to expand better and to flare out. And they say it'll expand into six uniform components for consistent tactical performance. And that is the Winchester Defender in 9 millimeter, 147 grain. And so uh, the Hornady is 124 grain. Uh, the Winchester is 147 grain. You can see the expansion comparison there. And then next up on the block is the Federal Premium 9 millimeter Luger. These are the Hydroshocks by Federal. And they also say that these Hydroshocks are low recoil and they are a 135 grain bullet. So what Federal says is specific and uh, unique about their cartridge is that low recoil aspect that allows you uh, to control uh, recoil better. It allows you to get follow-up shots on target uh, more quickly, thereby improving accuracy and target acquisition. Uh, and that's Federal Premium's claim to their uh, Hydroshock. It's been around since 1989. And uh, it is carried uh, by a lot, a lot of people, I think, just because it's been around so long. And I will show you the uh, slow-mo video right now. 9mm self-defense ammo, Federal Premium Hydroshocks.
at any rate, you can see the performance uh, on the federal. Uh, as far as the FBI standards go, and this block goes for this 10% uh, clear ballistics gelatin, it actually penetrated what I would consider uh, the better of the three. It, it went in 14 inches, and expansion was definitely one and a half times, if not twice, uh, the size of the bullet initially. And so it went in 14 inches as opposed to the uh, Winchester passing all the way through and the Hornady uh, just meeting the standards at 12. And so I would probably, in my particular choice, I would go with the Federal Premium. I do have all three of these loaded into uh, all of my different carry guns. In my personal opinion, to take all this testing with a grain of salt because no one actually knows in your critical dynamic incident what all the different variables that are going to stack up together and whether that round is actually going to do the job or not. And so just for the ballistic gelatin, like I said, I would lean toward the Federal, but I would have no problem carrying the Winchester or the Hornady in any one of these. And they're available uh, nationwide in the big box stores. And like I said, they hover around 25 bucks for 20 of those things. Uh, and so relatively speaking, in today's day and age, those are affordable choices for self-defense rounds uh, that you can find. And you can be safe and confident in carrying them to defend yourself and to defend those that you love. Hey, if you're still with me and you watched that last video about the ATF brace band, I wanted to tell you about the scope that was turned backwards. And basically, it did what it was designed to do. Everybody said, hey, why is your scope backwards, man? Hey, turn your scope around. All the different comments you can read in that last video. If you hadn't seen that video, uh, I'm going to put it right here uh, in the card, or uh, you can see it in the description below. And uh, that was done on purpose and designed on purpose to elicit a response so that we could overcome the YouTube algorithm to help get Second Amendment content out there uh, to maybe some more people who haven't seen it before. Which reminds me, if you would, like this video, share this video on your different social media platforms like Facebook or any of the other ones that you're on, and would you subscribe to this channel and hit that bell notification. What that does is, it doesn't just notify you, but as you uh, give this video more interaction, it gets put out by YouTube's algorithms to more people and it makes content like this more popular and so it says to YouTube hey this is popular content and it uh, YouTube is concerned about the money just like any other business and their bottom line and so they will push that content to more and more viewers and thereby it'll help the Second Amendment fight in America and uh, you can do something as simple as clicking liking sharing and all that good stuff just to help out the cause. As always, I want to thank you for making the choice to defend yourself and those you love. God bless you and yours. You coming? Don't touch. You didn't actually think I was going to shoot one of these guys on YouTube, did you? Ouch. <laughs>